guys so I'm doing this video after the school run and um, I just yeah I could have done some big setup and I could have done my hair and taken off my bobble hat and made an effort but well I'm not gonna so there and I've been wanting to record this video for a while but those of you that follow me across social media will know I have been head down creating content for my newest course the happy me project does confidence and self-belief so this is my i've got the flagship course the happy me project and this is my next step so my 2020 um course which is packed full of a stuff um all on how to develop your inner confidence and your outer confidence so how do you feel good and feel confident inside and believe in yourself but also how do you look confident as well and those of you who know my background will know that i'm i've been a tv actress and i'm now a self-development coach as well so using both of those skills to just give you a ton of videos audios worksheets workbooks conversation starter list affirmations list secret nlp hack to help boost your confidence there's the old meditations which are for when times get tough some guided meditations there's loads of stuff i'll link it below it launches on the first of february saturday the first of february so that is why i have not had the the space to be doing as many videos this month so please forgive me i will be back in the land of the living over february and march but i've just i'm one human being so this video i have been wanting to do for a while and i'm possibly i'm possibly being very light-hearted at the beginning of this for the subject matter so backtrack those of you who followed this channel for a while will know that I have already spoken about this in great detail for the last few years. So my husband, Ross, had brain cancer and in July 2017, he died of brain cancer. I don't say that flippantly. I don't say that coldly. It hurts. It's painful. I don't have to, I don't have to explain that to anybody just because I can say the words out loud, just because I can talk frankly about it does not mean that I'm detached from it at all. I cry, I'm sad, I grieve, all of the stuff you would expect me to. But I thought it would be interesting to give a widow's take on, on what people say to you when you're a widow, which obviously is new for me. And I guess it's new, it's different again when you are a young widow. Um, and I know that there are many of you out there because you guys contact me, so I'm, sh I'm far from alone. In fact, there is a charity, which I'll try to link below, Widowed and Young, who support people um, in the UK who have been widowed young. Um, that's both men and women. Widowers, wid I don't know, the diff I've forgotten the difference, but anyway, whatever. So people do say weird stuff, and often it's not intentional. It's not meant to be horrible or anything like that. There's nothing malice about it. Um, but I just thought I'd give you the top five things that I've had said to me. The first one being the most unusual. And I don't, I cannot, I, I still can't even, well, I'll just say it. So something that somebody said to me recently, granted it was in a bar and um, I assume the guy had had a drink. He seemed like a normal human being. So it wasn't like it was like a red flag of like, this is a lunatic. Um, when he saw that I wear my wedding ring, he said, oh, you're married. Now, that's not a conversation you want to have, really, when, when you're out and about. And obviously, that does come up. Because I wear my wedding ring, now, that's a choice. To me, yes, I could take it off. Yes, I could move it. But I didn't choose not to be married. And it's a, it's a time in my life, regardless of what happens moving forward. I don't want to. And if I change that, then fine. But you can't erase something i'm not going to erase my husband regardless of a future relationship i wouldn't that just doesn't make sense to me so anyway i wear my wedding ring and um so the guy said oh you, you're married whatever and i said oh and i was very calm i said oh actually unfortunately not a great conversation for in a bar but my husband died he said oh what of poison apple I don't even know what to say to that. And I I kind of was so taken aback and I'm rarely on the back foot like that. And I just said, no, brain cancer. 
and he didn't acknowledge or apologize for the statement and i i don't know if he thought about it afterwards or it was just an awkward reaction to I, i've no idea i have no idea that is the most insensitive weirdest response to somebody saying their husband has died like what who says that i don't even know what to, i mean i'll leave it with you i'll leave it with you you'll pop something in the comment section below no doubt about it um next thing this gets said a lot well he's watching over you hope not that's weird so whatever you believe you guys you are entitled to your opinion about life and death and god and no god my belief is there is no god and there is no heaven there is no afterlife i know that makes some of you feel uncomfortable um that's your prerogative we choose how we feel um but i don't i'm not saying i'm right but you can't equally say that you are definitely right either so that doesn't really matter but to me that is a weird first of all my husband was also an atheist massive time science atheism like he did not believe in god um and the and to say he's watching me it just it feels very weird like well if he's watching all he's going to be thinking is why are you stacking the dishwasher in that way and why have you done that and you just be telling me off so um it's just i just find it weird i i'm a person that believes you know i know that energy is infinite my husband's energy is still somewhere winging its way around in its new form and that's a nice thing that he was here and he lives on in his children and the memories and the impact that he had in this world and that impact was a lot he he made an impact i you know that to me is a greater thing than thinking about him sat in the sky watching me it's weird right number three i don't know how you cope I know this is never said with like malice or anything horrible but i don't know how you cope i have nothing and uh, i have nothing to say to that nothing to say i don't know what to say to that because i don't have a choice <laughs> ultimately i don't have a choice and it's not just for the children so people will often what them wonder you're only carrying on because of the kids no i don't have a choice because i want to be alive and i want to live and i want to be happy so I don't have a choice. I didn't choose for my husband to die. I didn't have a choice. It was thrust upon me. I didn't choose to be a single parent. I didn't choose to be on my own. I didn't choose that. So when someone says, I just don't know how you cope. Well, because I do. Because you probably would as well. Because you don't have a choice. And I, I, again, I, I just, I, I'm not trying to be harsh. And I, if you, you probably said it to, you may have said it to me and you may have thought it. And, and you know what? Maybe I've probably said it in the past before experiencing it myself, because until you've experienced something of that magnitude, I don't think you can possibly understand. And I don't expect you to either. Like, it's not a horrible thing. It's just that when you say to somebody, I don't know how you cope, they're going, well, I don't know either. I didn't think I would cope with something like this, but I do. And some days, you know, and I'm not saying I'm in this space now, but certainly when you are in those initial stages, like some days you're just breathing. Some days you're just trying to move forward. And, and anyway, yeah, that's another one. Number four, will you get married again? Now, I think this is an, appropriate, in, an inappropriate thing to say to somebody who is widowed because it just puts them in a really awkward position to have to talk about that i didn't divorce my husband and i have no doubt i will be in a relationship again that's not and, and my husband and i talked about that um that's not something i feel shame or weird about because that's ridiculous i was 32 when my husband died i don't expect to live the rest of my life alone we're a social species we we need human contact and and he wouldn't affect he didn't expect that of me either um but i think it's an inappropriate thing to say to somebody because people have said it to me when my children are there it's not appropriate for them at all and they are not comfortable with that conversation and you just put me in a weird unless you unless fair enough if i'm having an interview for something where it's um you know a topic you know that would be appropriate to be discussed and we've pre-discussed what we're going to talk about and i've said yeah ask anything fair dues but in a social situation when people say that unless they know me really well i think that's inappropriate i think that's not your place to ask me that in the same way i think when 
you get when when people are in relationships oh you're gonna get married you're gonna have kids like that's kind of in a, it's just i don't know what and also i know that i'm probably on the strongest end of bravery when it comes to um what i'm dealing with and i meet many um men and women who've been widowed and a lot of them would not cope with that at all so i'm just telling you now i don't say that to people who whose partners died because it makes whatever it makes them it makes them feel weird and um awkward and they don't know how to answer it in the right way and, and yeah it's just a rubbish comment right number five he's in a better place no he's not because he should be here stupid comment what what am i supposed to say to that people would say to me when ross died you know at least he's not in pain he wasn't in pain he was he had cancer for three and a half years and for most of that time he was really quite well i mean don't get me wrong he had seizures and treatment and stuff and yes there was hard times within that i'm not trying to minimize stuff but he didn't live every day in pain and when he did die it was within months that he within six weeks that he deteriorated rapidly and so he was not in pain and then he died so it's it, if i'd watched somebody suffer in obvious pain i would know what you meant but when you offer that up it just makes me feel weird and the same with he's in a better place well where's that because you just imposed your view on me i didn't say i believed in heaven i don't i don't believe he's in a better place i believe he's dead and that's the end of that journey for my husband i believe he lives on in us in our love for him in his memories in the mark he made in the the times we talk about him in you know in his energy being infinite in the legacy that he left his children and left behind that's how he lives on in talking about him but i don't believe he sat in with some cloud god i just don't so when you say he's in a better place it's just it's actually a red rag to a ball for me because you've just told me your belief and you've imposed it on me even worse if it's said to the girls if i don't think that would be said but people say oh daddy's in heaven they don't believe necessarily in god either they've always kind of i've never ever imposed my view onto the girls the girls can believe what they want and i've said to them if you think dad's in heaven then dad's in heaven i don't know the answers i'm not necessarily right so um yeah i just leave it up to them to make that decision but saying things like that to the kids oh dad's in heaven dad's a star in the sky Blech. no stop it stop confusing them kids especially don't need that kind of confusion because then what you can say well then, then then they'll say well i want to be dead then i'll be dead then because then i can go to heaven it's a stupid comment to say to kids i don't get the logic in it um but yeah this is a bit of a rant um but also just a bit of advice a bit of honest brutal advice um there are going to be those of you that follow my channel because friends of yours are going to go through this or have gone through this and you don't know how to respond and i know this because you message me and you tell me um and I know that the words I use are can be jarring because they're very what matter of fact. But it is what it is, and that's my way of coping and my way of getting through things is to be real AF. And that's my way of dealing with it. If that makes you uncomfortable, fine. You don't die of discomfort. So <laughs> you'll be fine. Uh, but yeah, and let me know what you think about number one because i just still keep going did somebody really say to me well what did he die of a poison apple i don't even know what to say but that is absolutely the worst reaction you're implying you're making light of my husband's death you're implying i'm a witchy old hag and that and and also implying that i that he i murdered him with a poison apple so it's not great um yeah if you are going through this yourself or you know somebody that's going through it then i'm just sending you loads of love please know that when i talk openly like this it's to create conversation it's not to make light of where you're at on the journey it's not to dismiss your feelings i don't expect you to be the same as me and just because i talk openly on here does not mean that i'm always all right about things i can just talk that's what i do so yeah i'm sending you love if you are going through it and strength and just know that i do hope that this channel and me talking about things can bring you hope and yeah 
That's all I've got to say about that. Let me know if you are a widow or you have lost somebody, um, the strange things that people said to you and your thoughts on the ones that I have said. I will speak to you soon. Also, subscribe to the channel. I should really say that more because most of you watch this and aren't actually subscribed because I can see, I, look, I looked on the analytics, like 95% of you who watch the channel watch and come back, but don't subscribe. So can you just subscribe, man? For God's sake, that'd be easier. Then you'll know when I actually post videos. <laughs>